is what happens if a point source is not at a node. So in other words, we may have a continuous body, a continuous body that has some, po some point source, some, you know, applied at a location that when we come back later and discretize it, it may not exactly line up with a node. Well, shoot. So later when we come back and discretize it, the point source might not be right at a node. Then what, we, what do we do? Right? How do we handle that? So we can represent the, that point source as a function using the direct delta function. So we'll represent it as a function of x where p is the direct delta function x minus xo, where xo is the location of the point force. And the direct delta function, if you don't know, it's defined as this, right? So the contribution of our function to each of the nodes, it appears in the, this term. So if we plug in, if we plug in our direct delta function for f of x, we get and when you perform this integration, you get p n i x zero. So we can use the shape functions to basically distribute the force to the nearest nodes. And, you know, if you, if you think about a simple example, say two nodes, two nodes with linear interpolation and a force applied at the center. Well, when you evaluate this, you have <coughs> F1 is equal to P, 1 minus x0 over L, F2 is equal to P x0 over L, and F1 plus F2 is equal to P. So if xO is equal to L over 2, if it's right in the center, you know, then what you get is F1 equal to F2 equal to P over 2. Right, and that's sort of what you'd expect. And if you have a point source in the middle of an element, you have a linear interpolation between them, then you're just going to divide that point by two and place it on each of the nearest nodes. So you're going to distribute it. Yeah. The way you define the function at i, uh, so the, the force is uh, reflected on all the nodes, but only the one point will have to. What's that? Like the, the net i is also p and i x o. Yeah. So the force is reflected to all the points, to all the nodes, but only the one point will have to. The force is applied to what? To all the nodes. Well, in this case, in this, in this case, there's only two nodes. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, if you had a fifth order interpolation or something, yeah, it would be distributed to, to all of them. 